please note, when I made this video, it was in my computer and I just was starting a new job and I ended up forgetting that I had it in the first place. Um, so it's a late upload, but I hope you guys do enjoy it. And this is one of my favorite Eminem songs. I mean, I have so many that are my favorite, but um, at the time, you know, this, this song just blew me away. So I hope you guys do enjoy the video. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Spooly here. Um, hoping you have a special day today, but you are because you are listening to me. Um, it's not gonna be a crazy video. I mean, I'm a gamer. I, I mean, that's what I do. I game. I don't... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, break bars down like No Life Shack. I mean, I love watching his videos. I love, you know, all that stuff. We're not a reaction channel, channel but, but keep in mind... The fact that it's been so long since I've switched up my content just a little bit. like, So we're going to just do a reaction to a rap video. Um, I got to shave. Holy shit. But anyways, um, so we're going to check out the, the this called Nat or whatever. Um, I, saw, I saw an article and I was thinking about it like, man, I haven't changed up my channel in a while. I just want to see, put some different content out there. I mean, I'm strictly a gaming channel, but um, I've always been open to doing something different. Whether it be a vlog, I have vlogs on this channel, you know, it, it, just stuff, you know, like different things, you know. Without further ado, we got to get into it. Just make sure you leave a subscribe if you do like the content. Keep those notifications on, you know, by hitting the bell. Leaving a like definitely important because it makes me know that you like this content maybe i'll do another one just got to make sure you hit that bell because that's really really important um so without further ado um i grew up listening to eminem and long story short we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna listen to nat um let's just rewind it a little bit um so yeah let's get into it let me just let's check this shit out and hope you guys do enjoy it. Let's see. Uh... They say these bars are like COVID, but you get them right off the bat. Back to bizarres and Corona, like you took a bite off of that. Then it goes from Martian to human, that's how the virus attacks. They come at me with machine guns, like trying to fight off a gnat. Okay. Is that Shaquille O'Neal? I did read something that um, this song has something to do with everything they've been throughout the year and stuff like that. So he was talking about the coronavirus and stuff like that. Like, like I heard of the song because um, it was released like yesterday or something like that or the day before. But um, the Shaq, the Shaq thing right here, I see right here, um, was already telling me that it's probably going to be something to do with Kobe or, you know... Um, Stuff like that. I've also, because we're breaking down the visuals, as well as um, the bars. I'm not a bar catcher by any means. I'm going to miss like 95% of them. But, when I, you know, I just want to listen to the beat. I want to listen to the song. And I just want to check it out and see if, you know, this is something I enjoy to do as a content creator. You know, so, you know. Um, so, based off this picture alone, I could see, I already put the resemblance to the Godzilla. The Godzilla music video this is how he was when in his like a uh, coat or whatever. Um, not a coat. Uh, smock. Whatever this thing is, you know, when they put him on in the hospital, that's exactly how he looked with the with the with the eye and everything like that. So this is almost like makes me feel like it's a movie type, and it's like continuing a movie um, from Godzilla into this song but anyway so sorry somebody came in the room and you know i we had to edit that part out um so where was i um yeah so it looks basically like a movie um and as far as the first bar it's simple when the coronavirus first came out it was they thought they had to do something about bad or something like that so i mean that, that's an easy bar to catch 
So let's just do this over again. Nat Eminem Lyrical Lemonade presents Nat Eminem. Okay, yeah. They say these bars are like COVID. You get them right off the bat. Infected with SARS and Corona. Like you took a bite off of that. Then it goes from Martian to human. That's how the virus attacks. They come at me with machine guns. Like trying to fight off a gnat. Machine Gun Kelly diss. That, I mean, I don't know why you're still giving him publicity. Think about it. Like, you know, I mean, he, he's irrelevant at this point. You already destroyed him, so um, you're just keeping him in there, you know. And uh, yeah, there's no point to do that. But let's go. Still stacking my chips, hoes. Higher than Shaq on his tiptoes. Top the Empire State Building. This shit is like child's play. Children. I okay, so stacking his chips like money. Higher than Shaq on an Empire State Building, you know, like, come on, like, he's basically saying he's rich as fuck. Well, the night Nile late killed them. I fuck around and pile eight million dead little juveniles. Wait, children, I'll await my trial. They till then, what then? Ain't nothing you say could ever trump. Nah, Mike Pence will get killed. Yeah. If you're hypersensitive, I wasn't referencing the vice president. Chill. Yeah. If you weren't referencing the vice president, what did you say? We have to catch this bar because that doesn't make no sense to me. You just said Mike Pence and Trump. Beniles, wait, children, I'll await my trial. They till then, what then? Ain't nothing you say could ever trump. Nah, Mike Pence will get killed. Yeah. If you oh, yo, that that what is that? Is that a double or a triple? I don't know, but this is why he's lyrically insane, dude. And this is why he's on top. Think about all the. Think about it. There's a lot of young bucks in here probably watching this video. This guy is pushing 50 years old. He's 48 years old right now, I believe, and. He, some of you probably have my my dad's like fifty five or something like that, but or fifty four, maybe fifty three. I don't remember, but um, it's kind of sad actually. I feel bad, but imagine there's some some of your dads that are watching this video. I'm assuming are probably under fifty and under his age. So this guy is an old ass man, and he's still on top, and he you know, mad respect for him, man. I grew up listening to him. I loved Mockingbird when I was a little kid. And, um, all that stuff. So, all all he, I love the Slim Shady days, you know, and all that, you know. And you got to recognize, you also got to give him respect, because back when Eminem started rapping, when if you were a white man rapping, that was a no go. That was almost like a crime, you know. It was a black man's sport, and that's exactly what it is, you know. Um back then so you know he stayed with it and he's still on top and there's a lot of people mad at him for that but anyway let's continue um so he's saying mike nothing you could ever trump like trump card like basically like most cases in poker the ace of spades beats everything so nothing you could ever nothing you could say would ever trump and then he's talking about mike pence will get killed mike pencil mike pence mike pencil Mike Pence, my pencil, my pens will. I think that's a triple. My pens will get killed. So he's talking about how basically he's just the shit. But, you know, I'm not going to explain things, but yeah, we'll go back. So watch to catch that again. I late killed them. I fuck around and pile. Eight million dead little juveniles. Wait, children, I'll await my trial. They till then, what then? Ain't nothing you say could ever trump. Nah, Mike Pence will get killed. Yeah. If you're hypersensitive, I wasn't referencing the vice president. Chill. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, my penmanship at times tends to get ill. Violence, but with skill. That's why I hints when I write ends up with the mic and pencil getting killed. Yeah. He literally just said what I just said, but basically, he's just saying. He was just, he was explaining what, why he wasn't talking about the vice president. He was just saying about his pencil, you know, his apprenticeship and, yeah, he was just, he just explained the, the bar that he just said. Okay, that's actually pretty dope. I don't think people do that. I don't think I've ever heard anyone do that. Get ill, violence, but with skill. That's why I hints when I write ends up with the mic and pencil getting killed. <laughs> yeah. All that. And I'm still right up, die for the squad. Yeah. So you know which side that I'm on. If a battle line's ever drawn, but if I get involved, it'll be like canines in a bra. But not similar to Mike Vick at all. Cause even if I don't have a dog in the fight, they ain't never gonna get rid of the fight in the dog. Ooh! Even if I don't have a dog. In the fight, I will. They will never take the fight out of the dog. Basically, saying that he'll never back down. He'll he'll never, you know, he'll never give up and 
pretty much it's an inspirational speech when he said that. Um, that's pretty dope. But not similar to Mike Vick at all Cause even if I don't have a dog in the fight They ain't never gonna get rid of the fight in the dog Got stripes like a tiger So you might get more than Mike in the palms Like claws like a swing right for your jaw And rip it off with one swipe of the paw Bitch you still on my dick or no If I suck your wife as a straw I'm <laughs> Look at you <laughs> He's basically just calling him a dickhead <laughs> I don't know if he was talking to her When he said Bitch you still on my dick or no Or he was talking to him and saying that basically you're all on his dick, and you know if you if I suck your wife is a straw, like basically you're the one she's the one that is meant to suck kind of thing. You guys get the the thing, you guys get it. I'm not gonna cover my mouth next time that I cough. Cause I see these bars are like COVID. You get them right off the bat. Drank it with SARS and Corona. Like you took a bite off of that. Then it goes from Martian to human. That's how the virus attacks. They come at me with machine guns. Like trying to fight off a gnat. It's like pneumonia symptoms of contracting COVID instantly. Which is what separates my flow from there so that no one gets even close to this to pose a risk to me. So vocalistically, that's social distancing. Yeah. She looks like she's like forced to be there in that in this video. It's like pneumonia symptoms of contracting COVID instantly, which is what separates my flow from there, so that no one gets even close to this to pose a risk to me. So vocalistically, that's social distancing. Yeah. Flow going viral, you best stay strapped with that light saw and get way back, get that pine saw and that Ajax, cause this dry cough is just like football umpires calling a playback. Bitch, back the fuck up like 15 yards. These rhymes call for a face mask. Okay, so I don't know if you realize something. 15 yard... Okay, so f he just said 15... Bitch, for act the fuck up. Well, so basically, get the fuck away from me. You you can't even come close to me. So this whole song is about him being how sick he is and how he is the coronavirus in a way. Like, like nobody can be... Nobody, nobody can be like near me. Like, I'm so sick, you gotta stay away. And it's basically... That's what's called social distancing, like lyrically. Because no one can even come close to how good I am. Because I'm the shit kind of thing. And then he was talking about the 15 yards in football. American football. Um, if you don't know. Some of you probably don't. But most of you probably do. Um, it's dangerous to grab someone's face mask when you're playing football. So if, you, if you're tackling them and they got, get face masked. That's a 15-yard penalty closer to the goal line. So, that that's actually a good. But he's also talking about face mask as in face mask. Like uh, like this. Like a face mask. Like, I'll put it on a face mask. Batch, back up 15 yards. These rhymes call for a face mask. Because of how sick he is. Yeah, that's... This is why he's insane, dude. You don't realize how hard this shit is. Pies calling a playback, bitch back the fuck up like 15 yards, these rhymes call for a face mask. Another 14 day quarantine, they're cordoning off everything, this shit looking like a horror scene, like me metaphorically. Damn. Zim stay at home order seem like they just keep getting more extreme, who knows when this night Marilyn, like Monroe, Norma Jean. Okay, so visuals. Visuals first. That picture in the background's moving. I don't know how Cole Bennett does this, but you need to help my Fortnite montages, man. Like, you're just too good. But, um, it's also, um, look at the surroundings. All right, that girl's in his way, and, you know, it looks like he's got a Coke bottle. All right, I don't think there's any signif thing significant else other than the picture is moving visually. Um, but, Marilyn, when will this nightmare will end? What did, wait, what? Thing. This shit looking like a horror scene, like me metaphorically. Damn. Zim stay at home order seem like they just keep getting more extreme. Who knows when this nightmare will end, like Monroe, Norma Jean. Who knows when this nightmare will end? Nightmare will. Meryl will. Marilyn. Meryl. Meryl. Meryl will. Meryl. Nightmare will. I can't say it, but nightmare will end. So he's talking about Marilyn Monroe and all that shit. Um, Marilyn Monroe. Come on, man, dude. This is crazy, dude. 
Uh, Still got that heroin, lyrical drip with that morphine and that Thorazine. Cause I'm so fucking dope. Dope. And you're a fiend. Uh -huh. And that's the one thing. He's calling himself drugs. He's calling himself dope because he's a... Because because you're a fiend, you can't stop listening to him. You can't you can't stop because you're just addicted to him. You're like drugs. I mean, he's like drugs to you. Basically, you know. Thing that hasn't changed. No, nope. some semblance of normalcy. But I might need that hydrochloroquine because I got hydrochloroquine. Um, that was um. That was, that was the drug, I mean, that was the pill or whatever the hell it was. That was the thing that was supposed to um, counteract the coronavirus at first. Um, basically, I guess you would take them and it would make it go away. It was a cure for the coronavirus. I don't think it works or anything. But it basically is talking about cleaning supplies with the Ajax and stuff of... A few verses, like a like like a verse, verse or two ago, you know, and all that stuff. So, um, and basically remedies and stuff like that. So he's talking, he's sticking with the with the script, and yeah, so that's pretty cool. Got that. Yeah. The dark horse, I'm a nightmare. Mom fed me volume like air. Thought that's why they called it a high chair. Whoa. I got a contact like I wear. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm not a bar, I'm not a bar, I'm not a bar or a scheme or, oh, like, like, into examining hooks or anything, but, n night horse, dark horse, I'm a night, what do you say? I, I mean, I, I need that hydrochloroquine, cause I got that, yeah, the dark horse, I'm a nightmare, mom fed me volume like air, thought, that's why they called it a high chair. Wow. How do you think of this shit? Did you hear that part? Mom fed me volume. Is that what he said? Volume? Yeah, the dark horse, I'm a nightmare. Mom fed me volume like air. Volume. Mom fed me volume like air. That's why he thought it was called a high chair because when he was on, you know, the high chair is so the parent could spoon the food into the mother's mouth. But he thought it was called a high chair because when he was on it, that's when she would basically give him drugs and make him high. So he thought it was high like in drugs. Like, wow, like I'm so high. Not high as in height, but high as in high kind of thing. That I don't even know how you would think of that. Thought that's why they called it a high chair. Whoa. I got a contact like I wear. Whoa. Contact like I wear? Wait a minute, bitch. Let me lie here. Like you wear contacts, but it's called I. It's an I. It's the t okay. So if you're looking to buy some contacts, it's considered eyewear. No double. Um, twenty twenty hindsight, my side mirror. Every year you drop the ball like Times Square. Hold on, hold on. Whoa, wait a minute, bitch. Let me lie here. Um, twenty twenty hindsight, my side mirror. Twenty twenty hindsight in my side mirror. Damn dog. But, um, no, 2020. So he's talking about, like, 2020 vision, 2020 sight, hindsight in his side mirror. Like, 2020's coming to a close. It's in the, it's in the past. Let's go to, tw let's look for a brighter future in 2021. All this is, like, explaining a story, which is why M is the greatest of all time. He's, I don't know. I don't know. He's close to Pac. I don't know if he's better or just as good or what, but Pac was... A legend and Eminem's gonna be a Hall of Fame legend as well. I mean, he already technically is, but still. Um, he's still doing this shit and he's still on top. That's insane. And he's white. And the reason why I say that is because you are supposed to be a black rapper. I mean, you could only be a black rapper when he started in the game. And now, he's on top because he didn't give up. Even though all the odds were stacked against him. That's insane. I got a contact like I wear. Whoa, wait a minute, bitch. Let me lie here. Uh, 2020 hindsight in my side mirror. Every year you drop the ball like Times Square. My hair trickle. Like New York Square. Drop the ball like Times Square. 
It's crazy. In a bitch, let me lie here. Uh. 2020 hindsight, my side mirror. Every year you drop the ball like Times Square. My hair trigger whenever I get an idea. It's like, fuck. Now my name rings out like a sponge mop. My trip was a drop in the bucket. So that gunshot you just heard just now in that one spot just came from the nine mil that I just got. That's big bucks and I got a full money clip and I'm loaded. I ain't even mean to go the fuck off. So, hold on. Nine million dollars, nine mils that he just got. And he said it's big bucks. Like, like it's a buck shot when you, if you're hunting. Not, hold on. I'm not a bar. I'm not a bar like investigator. But like, these are actually getting you to think. And I'm just trying to catch it because I don't want people in the comments saying you missed this, you missed that. I mean, I already probably missed a bunch of them. But I'm just trying to get into that. Like. This the song is dope already. Time square my hair trigger whenever I get an idea. My hair trigger every time when I get an idea. Yes. Fuck. Now my name rings out like a sponge mop. My trip was a drop. Do you hear his voice? Do you know how hard it is to lyrically rap? Let alone you're rapping, raising your tone of your voice. Adjusting the tone of your voice just makes it so much more difficult. People don't realize how hard it is to rap in first place, but you really don't know how. To adjust it to the beat. Like you put any beat on, he can adjust his voice to it. That's sick. In the bucket, so that gunshot you just heard just now when that one spot just came from the nine mil that I just got. That's big bucks, and I got a full money clip, and I'm loaded. I ain't even mean to go the fuck off. And I'm still totally inappropriate with an opiate, groping it while I'm holding it like a trophy. I'm hoping a little codeine will give me OD and whoa, everything is slow. I begin to floating. I know that I'm getting loaded. The pin exploded. Hiroshima with the flows of utopia with the dope. I'm an OG. I'm like the goat here to get your goat. Little oh, bit of sodium. Oh, 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 hold on, bro, 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 bro. Take a breath. Take a breath. I don't think this man breathes. I think he's got an oxygen pump and he's on his mom's life support or somebody's life support and grandma i don't know someone's life support basically as he's talking because i don't know what how he's breathing right there but he's going through a lot all i got was utopia and uh, utopia and uh, uh hiroshima like the bomb pen pen blown pen. that's all i really got Totally inappropriate with an opiate groping it while I'm holding it like a trophy. I'm hoping a little coding will give me OD and whoa, everything is slow. I begin to floating. I know that I'm getting loaded. The pin exploded. Hiroshima the with boys, the flows of the utopia smoke. with the dope. I'm an OG. I'm like the goat here to get your goat. Little bit of sodium. It's the salt when I'm at the podium. Bitch, your throat holy camole. I'm in the zone with the shit. I'm on getting moldy. I'm in a gamo because nobody's even close. Your petroleum to plutonium. You're petroleum to plutonium? Plutonium? Bro, I'm not good at explaining things. Just go look that up. And I'm not trying to make this video super long. Like, I don't, I don't really, I don't know how to explain things. Just go look up what plutonium and petroleum is. But that's a sick ass bar. And just, oh, we gotta get through this, dude. I, I, I can't break down all these bars, dude. It's just too hard for me. I, it's just too hard for me. Molium in the zone with the shit I'm on, get emodium in a gamo because nobody's even close. Your petroleum to plutonium, you're a phony. I'm at the crib, but your hoe got her at the pole like voting with no clothing, stripped down to a toe ring. And here we go with the gloating. I got my nose in the air like a bow wing. Then I got a stripped down to the. Okay. So, <laughs> first of all, let's get over the fact that a toe ring, right? So, I don't see very often when I get girls stripped down, but you got to admit, women are sexy with toe rings. I, I don't know what it is. It's just, I find it hot as shit. A girl with a toe ring? Oh my God. That's hot. And then he's saying, oh, man, dude, hold on. God damn, this is way longer than I thought it was going to be. But now I feel committed into investigating the bars. I'm not even a bar. I don't even, I don't, like, search for bars. It's crazy. I can see how reactors got to pause it so much because they want to go over the bars. I don't know. I just want to listen to the song, pause every once in a while so I didn't get copyrighted, and that was it. But, damn, this is harder than I thought it would be. Hold on. A little bit of an argument with down to a toe ring and here we go. Neum, you're a phony. I'm at the crib, but your hoe got her at the pole. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's go back. Go a little bit of sodium. It's the salt when I'm at the podium. Bitch, your throat holy camole. I'm in the zone with the shit. I'm on getting moldy. I'm in a camo because nobody's even close. Your petroleum to plutonium. You're a phony. I'm at the crib, but your hoe got her at the pole like voting with no clothing. Stripped down to a toe ring and here we go with the gloating. I got my nose in the air like a bow wing. Oh my god. So, 
I got the nose in the air like bowing like a plane and then we're looking at he just basically summed up 2020 right now uh talking about you know he had Shaq in the background Kobe Bryant was the first thing that happened that was tragic in January it was January 13th actually um almost a year now so rest in peace Kobe again but yeah man we still miss you. I'm sure there's a lot of people affected by it. Very inspirational. Um, but besides that, um, so we got Shaq that started it. And that was the first thing. It had Kobe Kobe dying. So Shaq was in the background. And then basically it went into the coronavirus, which was the next tragic, tragic thing that happened. And then that's how he started it. And then as it's going down, now... Then they talk about voting, you know, the voter fraud and all that stuff between uh, Trump and Biden. As the video is coming to an end of the song, it shows that basically he's talking about the voting now towards the end of the year. This is insane. Oh, like voting with no clothing, stripped down to a toe ring, and here we go with the gloating. I got my nose in the air like a bow wing. Then I got into a little bit of an argument with her, so I took a little lick of a colada in the dinner. Then I hit it with the motherfucking ottoman and bitter. Then I shot her in the liver, delivered it to the bottom of the river. But I'm probably gonna jump in the water with her with a water money, cause I got a lot of it. And when it come to dripping, I be stopping like a hundred mile an hour. I'm done, dude. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm not a bar. I, I, I'm not. A, what, what's it called? I'm not one of those people that can pick up bars. I. I this is the hardest YouTube video I've ever made in my life, bro. I gotta, I, I'm actually gonna be doing this because I think. God damn, man. I don't, I gotta, I gotta get more practice at it or I gotta give it up completely. I don't know. You let me know. Holy shit, dude. Is it time to go to sleep? Because I am sleep. Bro, I thought this was going to be easy. This shit. Kudos to all the <laughs> reactors, bro. This is hard as shit. Man, I'm getting a headache, dude. I don't even break down songs. Holy. All right. The river, but I'm probably gonna jump in the water with it with a lot of money because I got a lot of it. And when it come to dripping, I'll be stopping like a hundred mile an hour, never running out of either one of them. I gotta get it because these bars are like COVID. Get them right off the bat. Infected with SARS and Corona. Like you took a bite off of that. And it goes from Martian to human. That's how the virus attacks. They come at me with machine guns. It's like trying to fight off a net. Yo, the bad scheme, everything about it, bro, is just insane, dude. I mean, that's, listen, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week, time, get, get a, have a good Christmas and all that, but this is insane, dude. And my phone's ringing. It's work. I'm gone, bro.